Hello friends, welcome back. In the previous session, I explained clearly what GRU is and what are the architectural perspectives of it, how does it work, all these things have been clearly explained and in fact it was a longer session. And in this session, we are going to see how exactly to implement a GRU with Keras. It is easy and it is actually going to take less than 5 minutes for us to understand the entire flow. We have already told you the fundamentals of all these Keras as well as Python programming. So I hope we need not repeat a lot of stuff. Instead of that, we are going to go through it a little quickly. We need to import the necessary modules from Keras, which include the data set that we are going to use, IMDB. We have explained this in the previous session for LSTM. So if you have any clarifications, I request you to please go there to listen that and to come back here. So I download. I import the IMDB dataset, then I am going to build a sequential neural network. So I need sequential, we need dense GRU and flat up. LSTM is not needed, but I have imported it and that is not going to harm us anymore. Now I am going to use embedding as well and I have imported embedding. Now what is the next step? We need to go with coding further and before that I will tell you a single line about embedding which is very important. The embedding layer is used to create word vectors for the incoming words. This is going to serve as the mediator from the input to the final layer which means GRU. So it is going to serve in between. That is the reason we have the embedding layer. Now we will get into the code right away. Into the code when we go in, the first thing that we need to get is to load the code and we are using imdb dot load underscore data and this is the way we load it and as usual we get x train, y train assigned, x test, y test assigned. But remember, we are going to use only the top n words and we are going to zero the rest. So we have given 5000 as the input. We are zeroing the rest of the words because it is a huge data set. We need not go into that. Now, for review, we are going to take only 500 words and the x train is padded properly, y train is padded properly here with the max words being specified as 500. Now what is the next step? We need to start building the model. How do we build it? We are going to use a sequential model. So it is sequential neural network. I use sequential here and I am going to use the embedding. I told you the purpose of it. I am going to create word vectors and top words are going to be used here and I have already specified the count here. Input length is the parameter specified. Now GRU is the one that we are using here. Last time it was LSTM. So I am going to use GRU here and once it is done, I call dense and activation is through sigmoid and the model is built and it is readily available right now, but any model without compiling is of no use. So we are going to compile it and we are going to use model.compile. The last is binary cross entropy, optimizer is Adam, as usual the matrix is accuracy. Now we have compiled the model, we will print the summary and once it is all done, we can fit the model appropriately with model.fit. And I have got x train, y train with epochs being specified as 3. And increasing the number of epochs will really take a lot of time. Even for this, we needed a lot of time because the size of the data set is huge. And the final evaluation is done, and I predict the scores here. Model.evaluate with x test and y test will get you the scores, and I am printing the accuracy. And y predict is done, and y predict will get you the final scores printed here. I mean, you are done with your work. You can see the layers here, the embedding layer, the GRU layer, the dense layer are all available and I will show you the output how exactly it is done. It takes a lot of time because we have got 25,000 entries here. So I am not running the complete code, it will take at least one hour for me in my machine. I have copy pasted the result that I have obtained. You can see that I have generated an accuracy of 91.7. I will quickly show you the way the code is run without any errors so that you can try it out in your machine the same way. I am trying. You can see that we have set up the prerequisite stuff and we are assigning the x train, y train, x test, y test properly after loading the data. And the data set that we used is IMDB data set. And for review related stuff, is that we are setting max words and we have padded it appropriately with padding options. Then we started building our model and we used GRU there. Last time it was LSTM. So once it is done, we have compiled it and we have trained it and the final evaluation and the predicting happens after that. That's it. Once you run it, you will get the output and you can see that 
it's running and running and running it takes a lot of time really it took about 45 minutes or more than that even for me to get in the first time with a, a i7 8th gen processor and it's a pretty fast machine i have a 12 gb ram with me so don't try this out in your machine if it is pretty slow and that's a disclaimer that i give you hope it was informational and if you have any suggestions inputs please go ahead and type it in the comment section if you like the channel please subscribe thank you